Has God ever left you wondering why? God, why did you take away my loved ones so soon? God, why can't I seem to catch a break? Why are there hurricanes that cause such massive destruction? Why mass shootings that leave dozens dead and hundreds mourning? Why, God? Do you know what God often says in response to those questions? Nothing. He just doesn't give us an answer. As we celebrate Thanksgiving this week, we're talking about some things that maybe you've never thought to give thanks for. And today I want to talk about giving thanks for when God doesn't say why. Why would we give thanks for that? Let me illustrate it this way. This past fall, I helped coach my son's fifth grade football team. As you can imagine, the plays that we ran with that team weren't very complicated. In fact, the coaches got to be right there in the offensive huddle to be able to say, you stand here, you run over there. Now imagine if those same fifth graders got to listen in on the huddle of their favorite NFL team and heard a quarterback call a play like, green right, strong slot, spider two, Y banana, on two, ready break. I think it goes without saying that those fifth graders wouldn't understand the play. But even more than that, what do you think their reaction would be? Do you think they'd be bothered by the fact that it, it far surpassed their understanding of football? Or do you think their reaction would be a little bit different? At the risk of insulting your intelligence, the gap between a fifth grader's understanding of football and an NFL quarterback's is actually microscopic compared to the difference between God's understanding and ours. The Bible tells us that God's thoughts are above ours as far as the heavens are above the earth. And if that's the case, then even more important than having an answer to each one of our questions is knowing who has those answers. God has certainly proven himself worthy of our trust. I mean, think about it. If you were to draw up the play for Operation Rescue Mankind, would that play include a savior who is born in poverty and anonymity? Would it include a nomadic life followed by a small group of disciples tagging along? Would it include being betrayed by his own people and enduring a criminal's execution? That's the play the Father called. That's the play Jesus ran. If we didn't know how it all turned out, it would no doubt leave us scratching our heads and wondering why. And yet, because we know how it did turn out, we can respond to all of our unanswered questions exactly the way that Paul does in his letter to the Romans. He says, Oh, the depths of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. Even more important than having an answer to all of our questions is knowing the one who has the answers. And so even when God doesn't say why, we can say thanks. Let's do that. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that your ways are so wise that they often leave us wondering why. Give us confidence and contentment with our unanswered questions, knowing that those answers lie securely with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey everyone, Pastor Mike here with Time of Grace. Did you know that our ministry is 100% donor funded? That's a fancy way of saying that we don't receive buckets and buckets of money from the government or from any church or denomination. Instead, our ministry is completely fueled by people just like you. People who listen and watch our videos, people who give generously, and people who allow this message to spread to more and more souls whose lives are then changed. So for all of you who give, thank you so much. And for all of you who haven't given yet, we would love for you to do so. We really need your support. We want to reach people now with the good news of Jesus, which is why we need your help. Thanks for praying about that. Thanks for considering it. And thanks in advance for your support. God bless.